And today is day three of our Ecuadorian adventure. We're having a change of scenery today. We're going to be heading into the mountains, staying at a hotel on a lake nestled between four volcanoes. I'm excited to see what adventures await my mom and I today. Hola from La Mitad del Mundo, otherwise known as the middle of the world. This is the monument that establishes the equator, so the northern from the southern hemisphere. We're going to go walk around, see what this place is all about, and show you what we find that we might find interesting. My mom and I just left the France exhibit where we discovered that back in 1735, a group of over a dozen French scientists set off on an expedition to Ecuador, and at the time it was named Quito, which was a province owned by Spain. King Philip gave the French permission to set out on an expedition. It took them about 10 months to actually get here, where they set up base to kind of learn more about the curvature of the Earth and the equator. To the east, that hill way behind me, is El Catequia Hill, which is the only mountain in the Andes that actually is in both the northern and southern hemispheres. On the hill, it says Ecuador ama la vida, which means Ecuador loves life. That hill is considered an archaeological landmark of great importance because that's where the equatorial strip lies. Well, if you go up to the monument, they actually stamp your passport. Port. And it says Ecuador. Mitad del mundo Ecuador. It's official, we got stamped on the <laughs> equator. <laughs> We had such a wonderful time exploring the middle of the world. What did you think, Mom? It's beautiful here, and to be able to see the equator is really special. And just stand in both the northern and southern hemispheres at the same time. Super cool. Hello. Got to do that in <laughs> lifetime. But now it's time for us to get out of the city of Quito. Like I said, this morning we're heading to the mountains to Atavalo. Time to get on the tour bus and head that direction. Yeah. <laughs> Move on, more to see. Woo, woo. This is where we're staying tonight, Cabanos del Lago, which means cabins on the lake. There's individual cabins for all the guests to stay in. They have views of the lake. Once you walk through here, it opens up to beautiful gardens, a little waterfall, bunny petting farm where you can feed them. There's an open marina where you can rent out kayaks, motorboats. Welcome to Cabanos del Lago. Right now we are kayaking on Lago de San Pablo. To our right is a volcano. Like that is a volcano. An active, An volcano. active volcano. And we're surrounded by volcanoes. It doesn't get much cooler than that. Yeah, we were afraid you were gonna kill each other. I know I'm probably a major dork, but I'm obsessed with feeding these little guys. <laughs> Now 
we're back in our room, getting cozy, and getting a good night rest, because tomorrow is go, go, go. Today was filled with thrills and adventure, and I couldn't have asked for more. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, because that's the only way you're gonna get updates on all my adventures here in Ecuador. Keep a lookout for my videos throughout the week. Buenas noches. Our tour guide, Jose, told us that these earthworms can get up to 15 feet long, which is about two times me. I'm six foot two. That's disgusting.